This is Cassidy. What's this? <laughs> Bracelet. A happy 16-month-old with big bright eyes, a contagious smile, and a love for her mom. I love you. What Cassidy is probably too young to understand is that for now, she and her mom live behind bars at the Washington Correction Center for Women. When I found out I was pregnant, I just, it didn't really dawn on me that I was going to be able to be a parent to her. <laughs> so I, I didn't believe that this was going to happen. Catherine Hale and her daughter are part of the residential parenting program. The program is offered to offenders who are pregnant when they arrive at prison and will return to the community before their child reaches the age of 30 months. Our screening criteria is very selective. Um, we consider the child really the victim in this scenario. Um, and so we try to do whatever is best for the child in, in the circumstances provided. It's been life changing. Um, I can guarantee you that if you would have met me a year and a half ago, the person I am today and then are two different people. Oh, what's that? Here we're really able to provide an opportunity um, for growth and to kind of foster some parenting skills and kind of give them the foundation that they never had before as far as parenting and being a mother. In the residential parenting program, offenders reside in the prison's minimum security unit with their child. But for the babies and toddlers here, life is pretty typical. Can mommy have a drink? Yeah. Okay. Mmm, that's good tea. <laughs> Through a partnership with the Puget Sound Educational Service District Early Head Start program, licensed child care is provided while the mothers are in educational programming. It is a unique program. There aren't any other mother-baby programs in prisons in the country that um, are collaborating with an Early Head Start program to provide licensed child care from professionals. Night-night. Good job. Offenders are required to participate in programs for parenting skills, child development and nutrition, self-esteem, positive discipline, and life skills. It really makes parents think about their role as their child's first teacher and their most important ally in their success, that really the child's success is so dependent on the parent's involvement and um, interest in having a happy and successful life with their child. I really think that a person changes when they have somebody that sees something in them that they don't see in themselves. And they saw something in me that I've never seen in myself, which was intelligence, um, articulate, um, like they have me do this kind of stuff and like I would never expect you know them to anybody to have picked me to do that. They really start thinking about themselves in a more positive way as a parent. For many parents in here it's the first time they've parented without the influence of drugs or alcohol or any of the criminal activity that brought them to the program. I'm so blessed that I've gotten to experience Prison. <laughs> I mean, prison, you, you think of prison as being this place where you're caged up and locked away. Well, you, that, it could be that way if you want it to be. Or it could be a life-changing experience like it has been for me. Hale knows there are people who will say she's committed crimes and doesn't deserve to be with her child. But she also knows it's not all about her anymore. No, I don't deserve my child, but my child deserves me. And nobody is ever going to love my daughter as much as I will be able to love my daughter. She never did anything wrong, and I'm what she comes to for comforting. I'm her prime source of everything, and she deserves it. The benefit to the babies is that they get to be with their mother, which I think is um, hugely important, that bond that formation of that bond is so important and critical at that time in life that um, it really is a precursor to what's to follow in their lives. <laughs> and it's not just these children who benefit. The residential parenting program is trying to break the cycle of incarceration. We're preventing them from coming back, so we're saving tax dollar monies right there. And then we're also hoping that we're preventing the child from becoming incarcerated themselves. Um, 
and also really empowering the mothers and you know sending them out with as many positive tools that we can. Go get your baby. Hale says she's learned many lessons in here, but there are a few very important ones she wants to make sure she passes on to Cassidy. Probably my biggest thing is that she's worthy of anything that she could do, anything she puts her mind to, to never put limits on herself, and that she never has to settle for anything but the best. Everybody makes mistakes, but they can pick themselves back up from them and do big things, like they never have to stop.